Press has been talking with fans about the big news, but we do want to begin with Seven National Sports anchor Justin Rose to explain what comes next for the organization. Justin? Yeah, Brian, well, the pencil, it's run out of lead. Matt Patricia was brought in by general manager Bob Quinn after their days together in New England because Quinn felt that Patricia was the guy who could take this organization to higher places. He was famously quoted for saying that 9-7 and seven wasn't good enough. And now the franchise will pivot to a new era after the disaster we've witnessed in the last three seasons. It started as all new regimes do, with hope. I'm going to get comfortable here for a second. Hang on. Okay, fire away. Matt Patricia was brought in to take the Lions to a level they've never reached before, but the culture shift installed by Patricia, along with the questionable draft picks by Bob Quinn, have the organization starting over once again. I meant what I said last December, and I still mean it. Things were not going well, it was not what we wanted. Um, we were hoping to be playoff bound, but things were just not seeming to go in the right way. Patricia and Quinn, by many accounts, are good guys and said the right things when they first got here. But talk is cheap, and when losses become the norm, words don't give you much of a leg to stand on. There were questions about their ability to lead this team after last year's 3-12-1 record, and Sheila Ford Hamp felt at the time that this was the year for them to back it up. We had hoped that this year, you know, the third year, things would gel. Matt's process, his coaching ability and everything would come together in a good way. And then it just became clear that it wasn't working. Now the Lions will embark on the franchise's fourth general manager search and eighth head coach in the last 20 years. The search will be in-depth with input from many places, but the next team to come in will have to understand the effort it will take here and embrace the challenges this particular franchise has. We can't hide our past, that's for sure. Um, but I think, you know, uh, I'm very dedicated to turning this ship around and really making a, a difference. And, and hopefully, you know, we won't have to look back very much. We'll just look forward. Now, Rod Wood remains president of the organization while Sheila Ford Hamp admitted she couldn't answer all of our questions that we had for her just today, but those two will head the search for who will be the next people in charge of the organization. Brian? All right, Justin, let's uh, get well, on Brett over to Brett was out there for fan, fan reaction, reaction as well. Brett, what's up? 